Alrighty y'all, so I'm back this week on this beautiful foggy morning on my way to the Goodwill Bend, so stay tuned. I appreciate you guys for tuning back in. Alrighty y'all, so as always, my first stop were the shoes and did find like, oh, well, maybe like eight to 10 pairs, something like that. So right off the bat, you got a pair of these Nike vintage like swimming shoes. I don't know if you've been kind of watching just from like week to week. I found a pair of these probably like some months back. You can see the retail store was like seven bucks for them. I probably would have picked these up had I walked in and seen them at that price because they normally do pretty good. You just got like a pair of these Birkenstocks right here. And again, like all the shoes you see may need some cleaning up, but once you do that, these will be pretty good. Then you got a pair of like these all birds right here. I believe these are like the war runners. Looks like a women's eight. A little bit dirty, but I mean for the most part, in pretty good condition. Got like a pair of these rocks, like rain boots. These usually do pretty good for me. You can see on the bottoms, just dirty, really good shape. Again, more slides. I mean, these are just like bread and butter all day, like 15, 20 bucks. Got another pair right here. I believe these are like for youth and like the neon green colorway. Really good shape. I don't know if you guys remember like from maybe like four or five videos back. I found a pair of these Diador like soccer cleats that packs for like three bucks. And so when I seen these right off the bat, I knew that they were worth picking up even though they're like really dirty because I think the ones from Pack sold within like a month for like 60 bucks. And once you clean these up, I'm guessing you should be able to get somewhere up there on that. We just got like a pair of Converse Shorelines right here. It's kind of like bread and butter. Just need to be cleaned up just a little bit. He just got a pair of these Nike Reacts right here. Just need to be cleaned up just a little bit. And the great thing about these are, I believe these are like a 13. I know 13 is listed on eBay, so always a great day when that happens. And then lastly, you got like a pair of these on cloud. I believe these are like the cloud goes. You can see the retail store at like 15 bucks for them. Kind of on the fence whether I'm going to get them or not. Just figured I kind of keep them and kind of see how the day goes. Because I got like some wear on like the back heels. I did pull some comps and it looks like people are still moving them even with like defects and stuff on them. So, I mean, the bottom's got a little bit of wear on them. Just need to be clean up. But I think if I was to keep them, I probably could still get 40 or 50. But I'm going to kind of just wait, pull these and just kind of see how my weight stacks up at the end of the day, but overall, I mean, pretty decent on the shoes. So you got like a pair of these Patagonia, looks like running shorts for like maybe women. This is just an Under Armour, looks like a football t-shirt. I mean like 50 cents here, probably like 12 to 15 bucks on the sale. These are like a pair of Alakai, I believe the model was called like the Kamoa sandals. They did a table rotation and these were just kind of laying in buried at the bottom of like a sweatshirt. And they're just laying there, nobody grabbed them, so you should be able to do pretty good. We got like two Dick Sporting Goods, like employee t-shirts, got like a large and an XL. This is a Duluth Trading Company, like a fleece, like jacket. And it looks like it came from somewhere and they wanted like 24 bucks for it. But these usually do really well, so, I mean, only probably should cost you no more than like $1.50, $2 tops. These are like some Adidas, I believe, like golf pants. Women's medium, in really good condition, so at like 50 cents, a dollar max, definitely can't pass on it. 
these are like a smaller size but they're like some adidas for motion looks like seamless leggings i mean eventually you can turn this into like 15 to like 20 bucks so you got like this life is good just a short sleeve t-shirt well, music can sell this kind of stuff right here for like 15 bucks and super cheap here You got like these BC clothing like cargo pants with the belt. I sold like a lot of the cargo shorts this past summer. And they did pretty good so I figured with the cargo pants would fall in winter here. And then might as well pick them up. So you got a pair of these Coda Paxi shorts right here. I discovered this brand probably like a year ago when I just I picked up like I think it was like a jacket or something and it felt right so I looked it up and it sold really well so now this brand right here is one that I always look out for and with the double pockets these right here I know it's like fall and winter will be here soon but eventually somebody somewhere will pick these up this is like a Payne Stewart golf polo I was just watching like a Payne Stewart documentary a while back and it talked about how like he was known on the golf course by his fashion, people kind of liked the way he dressed. It was kind of unique compared to other golfers. But he tragically passed in like an airplane crash, I think a while back. Anyway, should be able to sell this for probably like 15, 20 bucks. So you got like this gym vintage full zip hoodie and this is like a bestseller for me. Usually I like to kind of stay away from the ones that have like the wear on the logo, but they do still sell and I would rather, you know, pick this up and sell it for like 15, 20 bucks and you just see it go to a landfill because they will move. Alrighty y'all, so this is like an old Navy 2XL like long sleeve shirt. You can see the retail store went like 8 bucks and I stopped picking up like old Navy years ago. But here lately I've been testing out like the huge sizes and those have been moving like pretty quick and so I think I'm gonna circle back to this brand only with the really big sizes though, so should be able to sell this for like mm, somewhere between like 10 and 15 bucks. So you got like some Eddie Barrow like cargo pants. Looks like a women's 12, so a great size. And like a dollar fifty should be able to turn this into like a 20 to a 25 dollar sale. We got some Columbia pants, and these, they look brand new to me. And also you can tell that they are a newer style, which is always great. Because I noticed like on the newer styles, the style code is actually on the front tag and not like the last bottom one. And that's always a great sign, so. See retail store went like 10 bucks on these Adidas pants right here. Here, you're only gonna be able to pick them up for like under like a buck so not bad got like this nike full zip like hoodie sweatshirt looks like it's a boys but this i've been selling these like for 15 bucks i got like a whole bin of these in my office and they've been they're starting to move now with fall being here so at like less than a buck look at i pick it up we got like some Adidas, like climber warm leggings, women's medium. That's pretty bread and butter. Then you got a pair of these Under Armour. These are like joggers for boys. You usually just kind of pick these up the lot up. That's where you usually can get the best bang for your buck. So you just got like some Nike Pro leggings. These right here are a newer style, which I always like. You can always tell because they got like the numbers. Well, not the numbers, the letters in front of the numbers. These did have like a little small stain right there, but I'm gonna wash these and try to get that out. And even if they don't come out, these look really new and in great shape. So I'm gonna just sell them as is if they don't come out. Alrighty, y'all, so the verdict is in. You need here, if you shop at Portland, you don't need like 25 pounds to get like the cheaper, I believe, which is like a dollar 
59 per pound. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these on clouds for the sake of weight, clean them up, and kind of see how much interest is out there. I'm pretty sure I can sell them for like 40 bucks. Alrighty, y'all. So it looks like the sun is out, and at our house, we're calling this possibly maybe the last consistent sunny day of 2023 it's supposed to be nice like all week and after that it looks like the rain is basically back so if you live in the northwest you already know what i mean and what i talk what i'm talking about on my way out I, there was like a rotation when i was getting ready to get in line so figured it was worth the the wait to kind of check it out so i found like hey like four or five like four items maybe and so found like two pair of these like nike golf pants right here these usually do really well and then especially like in like the fall and winter months really good condition i am guess it's probably like the same guy because they're both like a 36 32 here's like the second pair right here and yeah it was actually four items because yeah so here is a prana dress this one's kind of was balled up underneath like a sweatshirt or something. See like the logo on the back right there. And it should do pretty good. And then lastly found like a pair of Carhartt like work carpenter pants right here. And I actually got to the rotation. I always let, you know, the people who normally like go heavily on the clothes go to the rotations first. Because usually like the rotations I like to get to first are the shoes. But these were just laying there once I actually made my way over. So I guess it was meant to be. And so pretty decent day in there. I only spent like 48 bucks and got like, you know, quite a bit of stuff for the price. So whenever you can go in there and make that happen, it's always a good day in my opinion. y'all so i'm in here to pick up some laces for some shoes that i grabbed like a couple of days ago looks like the biggest they got is like 54. so yeah these will these will work all right y'all so i'm back at home now and <laughs> i was going to shoot this clip upstairs in my office but yeah not gonna happen it's just way too loud today we got like a whole lot of stuff going on with the kids my wife is doing some cleaning so from the car we go so i was picking up those laces for a pair of shoes that i found at the goodwill bins like a couple days prior not on today's trip this right here is a pair of jordan 4 black cats right here in really good condition and the laces in here were pretty decent but i wanted them to be much better and so got these and again if i were to sell these probably can get somewhere between like two to three hundred bucks but my birthday is coming up soon and on this day the shoe haul was absolutely insane by far probably one of my top five best shoe days ever at the goodwill bins it was one of those days where people was talking about it like later on during the week i think i found like 50 pair of shoes for a little bit over like 100 bucks i found like a ton of jordans including the ones i just showed you guys a pair of kobe's tons of vapor max i think i even found like a bunch of hokas i'll put like a snapshot of the photo i didn't shoot any video that day but i did take like a picture of my back seat when i was going home that day so it was it was crazy so god be the glory for that right there but I figured i just kind of show you that on my way out so if you got anything out of the video like it consider subscribing to the channel and i'll catch you guys right back here on the next video this might be all that i know think it's okay i've got a long way to grow at my own pace. go the long way no one taught me how to walk but i figured it out fine